Hello everyone, this is Amir Mohammad Shah Savarani from IO Framework team. Uh, thank you for joining us in this journey and our deep dive into the IO Framework structure. As we have previously told you, IO resembles IO uh, ASP.NET unique architecture. And uh, this framework is a ready-to-use template for um, ASP.NET Core. Uh, and in this series of videos, we are just focusing on the .NET 8 version of our IO framework. If you need the documents about this framework, you can find it here in the document link. And if you want to know more about the code and the GitHub and the repository, you can click on this link here and you can see, okay, this is the document page and this is our GitHub page. Let's back to our journey uh, within the layers. Uh, as we've come through these layers, we came across vast application in the last video the previous one, we've spoken about commands and we have seen that these structures are here. Okay, now let's speak about queries. What do we mean by queries here are so simple. Uh, in vast application layer, we do have query sub layer. Queries here in IO framework mean every type of list with no need to paging and count. So simple, okay? Instances of queries here would be issues like lists of phone numbers, cell phone numbers, a user's accounts list, as uh, we've told before that uh, a user may have more than one account and other lists with no need to specify filtering as well as paging. However, please bear in mind that sometimes your query may have one, two, three, four or even more filters. Uh, these are arbitrary filters you may put uh, depending on you and your business. And now we're just uh, inspect the elements within these two sub sub layers of queries together. Okay, for the first part, as you can see here, uh, like command that we've previously spoken, Everything, as you can see, three layers here. Mapping, queries, utilities, exactly like the commands. So, we just put queries here and in our sample accounting, as you can see, for example, find user. In find user, we have three steps. First, input. Our input would be the username. Okay, find the user by username by query response. Okay, uh, the output would be the next one. As you can see, takes <coughs> username and gives back first name of the username, last name of the username, and uh, a list of usernames. For example, as I've told you before, maybe someone uh, has more than one account then uh, is active in the last part the latter part you can see uh, the mapping system that uh, takes from this table as you can see here these are the resharpers uh, descriptions that made this so long okay and this is the mapping system. We will speak about it later in our videos. And uh, if you do need 
more documents about the mapping system in IO framework, you can reach it in the document part and our video channel. We have spoken a lot. Uh, up to now, all the companies and the customers that uh, use the IO framework were so satisfied and very simply handled these jobs and had no problems here but uh, don't worry if you would have any issue here we are at your six support and we do comprehensively explain any issues to you and the third part of uh, these steps would be the error files as you have seen uh, that we just put messages here in English and exactly like commands part in our paid version in our full ver full version we will make all them multilingual as you want and in every language the customer wants we can put everything here do not worry about the familiarity do not worry about the uh, user friendly issues in the front end of your system for your users and your clients in the business so this was the queries part let's close them and go to the handler part okay this is our handler part as you can see okay uh, in the query handler as you can see uh, we do have counting again and for example in app user handler okay in find user you can see that again we do have the validation system okay uh, null or empty for the username and the username shall be more than three characters for length and then we do have the result here as you can see everything uh, is a uh, link code and you have seen that we use the method get all and please uh, bear in mind in IO framework system we have put our efforts so that the minimum queries the minimum data the minimum load uh, puts on a database and the database just gives you back the minimal needed data and information for your queries specifically not all the data this workload balance helps you to manage your system and to manage your memory so that the efficacy of your system and your beneficiency of your system uh, regarding to your load balance would be satisfied and everyone has been um, how can I say um, satisfied for this issue of load balance you will see it uh, when you are just uh, making you know thousands of queries at the same time and the results are perfect and you see here that we've just mapped even the query here see uh, we have made some mappings in our result query so that uh, not all the entities would be loaded and not all the bandwidth would be uh, taken for each of your queries just the selected one just the minimal use of the bandwidth and minimal use of the database this is uh, incredibly fast. This is uh, managed so proficient, and I would uh, advise you at least uh, take a look at it and 
make use of it uh, you will uh, find more than what can i say here another sample that we've put here for you is a uh, user contact query handler uh, the contact data of uh, any sort of user that you would have and define in the system as you can see uh, we didn't uh, implement the validation method if you would need to do so you can put it uh, like other issues before I think we did have this validation here yes like this for example but uh, we don't uh, think that uh, it would be mandatory for contact list the validation issues and uh, again you can see the mapping system and the querying system for executing uh, and giving back the results and you can uh, see the mapping issues these are arbitrary and uh, depending on your business and on your own experience uh, we made you free and uh, you are openly uh, managed here for your coding systems um, a key point here is that we haven't implemented fluent validation here you can make fluent validations but you know uh, setting of the fluent validation and maintenance of these uh, sort of validations are so costly for a system and make your system these types of validations make your system uh, working a lot and uh, increases your load balance so that uh, according to our previous experience we have excluded uh, fluent validations here but but uh, remember as I've told you before, uh, as of our customers, if you do need and you do want any feature like um, fluent validations here, you can count on us and you can just ask. We've put all the issues together and we can add it in your full customized and tailored issue do not hesitate to ask us any sort of these uh, complexities any sort of these specific features for your own application okay i think the time of this video would exceed uh, and i think we'd better stop here we're just speaking about the reports in our next video. This is the report here, you can see. Okay, bye for now and thank you for watching this video.